Smith, and I've written Taxation, a very short introduction. Here are ten things that you should know about taxation. First, however much we may resent having to pay them, we need taxes to pay for public services. Second, taxes are often at the heart of political controversy. Tax policies can win and lose elections. Um, tax policies, or taxation can spark major political change. You only have to think of the way in which the Boston Tea Party became a symbol of the American Revolution, or the salt march that Mahatma Gandhi led became a symbol of in Indian resistance to British colonial rule. Three, in most industrialised countries, the level of taxation has grown dramatically over the last century as the role of the state has expanded. In European countries, taxes now take, on average, about two-fifths of all national income, and in the United States, about one-third of national income. Fourth, nearly all countries raise the bulk of their revenues from a small number of very large taxes. Most countries have an income tax, a value-added tax, or other sales tax. Um, most countries have a payroll tax, which typically finances social insurance benefits or perhaps health service. And most countries have a tax on corporate income or corporate profits. But the details of these taxes vary widely between countries. And in most countries, there is plenty of scope for rationalisation and tax reform. Five, who bears the burden of a tax can be very different from the person who has to pay it. Economic processes determine where the burden of a tax is ultimately borne. For example, whether or how much of a tax on the sale of goods gets passed on to the customer in higher prices, or whether a tax on housing rents is borne by the landlord or by the tenant. These are determined by economic processes, and there's not much that the law can do to alter the fact. Six, taxes have the potential to alter economic behaviour. They can influence how much we work, what we spend, how much we save, and so on. These distortionary effects can be a significant cost to the economy, and a good tax policy will aim to minimise the scale of the impact of taxation on economic behaviour. Seven, very few taxes, however, raise revenue without distortionary effects. A century ago, the American political thinker Henry George advocated raising public revenues from a single tax on land values. That wouldn't be enough nowadays, but it nonetheless remains true that taxing property, a well-designed tax on property, is going to be one of the most um, efficient taxes in the tax system. Eight, effective tax enforcement is ultimately in everyone's interest. Widespread tax evasion can distribute the tax burden very unevenly. And tackling tax evasion can impose heavy costs on honest and dishonest taxpayers alike. Nine, the most effective route to tax enforcement is to take the temptation away from taxpayers through systems of deduction at source, like the UK's pay-as-you-earn system of income taxation. By contrast, tax systems that rely on taxpayers to declare their income or spending honestly um, tend to be exposed to much greater evasion. Ten, couldn't the tax system be made fairer and simpler? Well, it's a seductive idea, and there's certainly plenty of scope for beneficial tax reform. But there's no single right answer. Tax policy is ultimately a very political issue, bound up with different views about what is fair and just.